so all right so right now let us explore what are the things that are there in the google advertisements and how we are going to create the google ads and etc etc blah blah, blah okay. all those things so uh, for an example you know uh, i think uh, it is still google uh, i think they are using you, you are using in hong kong i'm not sure so you are putting search engines la la ipdi google la use pandreengala illa vera edavada ama illa google la inno use panniterum aha minimum edhu illa ipdi inni mele illa oru inno oru naal anju maasam rendu moonu maasam enna year varaikku irukku nu nenikiren adhukku mela da avanga change panna poranga nu nenikiren facebook google whatsapp ella ki edukavara solliterukanga but epdi nu theriyala paakalam okay fine then fine okay yeah. any other thing apart from this so eppadi searches alla ninga vandu english la panuvingala illa chinese language use panuvingala english english la manu maximum maximum okay then fine that's great so uh, let me to explain you the details about how we are going to search yeah. it usually you know this is a google chrome and we'll be searching for something right so okay yeah uh, let me to uh, say as an example and uh, for your business right now okay so before that uh, yeah. can you say some of the keywords that are related to your business if you are planning to you know running some advertisement for your yoga class or might be your some other business so what are the keywords mm. that people will be searching for uh people will be searching for yoga classes okay. hong kong okay yoga and classes then, hong kong yeah and the mari yoga mm-hmm. yoga studios okay i understood yoga studio அப்புறம் வந்து அந்த மாதிரி போட்டுட்டு அப்புறம் ரீஜனலா வரும்போது ஒவ்வொரு ஏரியாங்க as a suggestion right now so i had okay. i had given a search term right now here i am i am making a search yoga classes hong kong and uh, oh, here okay. i am having some uh, you know answers as well i think in hong kong uh, they are using the hong kong dollar is that right yeah yes 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 okay then that's great so i think let me to have a check if it is possible let me to change my location from bangalore to hong kong so that i can get okay. much more closer data uh okay. let me to have a check whether it is possible i'm going to change the search settings now in the google uh-huh. search settings option i'm going to change a location to exactly i got a hong kong so i had chosen okay. the hong kong and then uh, i'm going to save the settings and after that i'm going for a refresh option now control the file i refresh this page okay oh, okay my location is uh, hong kong but uh, why it has chosen the karnataka i don't know i think then i have to lock off my you know, profile and uh, you know it will take some time uh, okay yeah let me to do one thing let me to open the incognito and uh, let us check whether the things are working fine mm-hmm. can you able to see my screen now yes yes okay then that's fine that's great so right now i had not logged in into any chapters and uh, okay i'm uh, checking my location and it is uh, it had to bangalore and india okay i had to change one more time okay all right done that's great uh, hopefully this will be working okay. now you know uh, my data whatever that i'm receiving here uh, will be much uh-huh. highly closer to the search term that when people are searching for yoga classes uh-huh. in hong kong uh-huh. so that is what the default results that i will be uh, getting while i'm searching for this and uh, you know the uh-huh. first result is what i'm uh, you know this is the page that we call it as search engine result page okay so we, we call it as serp so usually it is a search result page uh, currently we call it we are calling it as search engine results page okay serp so which is the meaning of search, search engine, engine result page yeah, search engine result page okay so usually based on the keyword that we are searching uh the search engine uh-huh. results page will have will be showing a lot of different kind of data 
and uh, usually if they are searching for something which is uh, nearby and uh, usually the map location will be loaded and this will be showing the locations whichever is available in the local uh, places and usually it is a place so uh, that is what okay. the uh, first results will be usually for the maps and there are other options will be also be there sometimes you know we will be having some uh, video uh, material loaded as a you know as a one of the result at the top and similarly some knowledge panel uh, graphs will be loaded and some of the featured snippets will be loaded and etc you know apart from this you know we will be having the uh, results what we have it these are the results that, that we call it as organic search results so these are the okay. results like from here uh, you know we will be having 10 results in each page so these 10 results are called as organic search results so you have one okay. uh, then we have uh, you know one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that uh, ten results after the thing which is coming from the maps are organic search results so that means uh -huh. uh, these websites like asiapa and uh, greenqueen.com are not paying uh -huh. anything to google and has been listed in google at free of cost and uh, okay. uh, google had picked up these websites considering that uh -huh. you know uh, when people had when people are searching for a keyword uh, yeah, yoga classes in hong kong uh, Google finds mm -hmm. that Google considers that these are the results which are highly, you know, uh, related to the keyword that people are searching for. And uh, one mm -hmm. more thing is, uh, these are the websites which are highly trustable when compared to the other pages which are there in the second page and third page. So that is how. Oh, okay. So that is how you know the these uh, websites has been shown at the top ranking, and the rest of the pages are has been shown to the second page and third page. And uh, okay. uh, we will be making uh, these kind of you know ranking process optimization in our uh -huh. seo chapter we call it as search engine optimization okay okay so uh, hope you might uh, see in the syllabus so we have a chapter called seo so this is what uh -huh. we call this is what this is the chapter you know one week we are going to learn about this so this is a chapter okay. which we uh, use it to find out how we can able to optimize our website and uh, uh -huh. bring it at the top position for the keyword uh, you know let us consider for an example yoga classes in hong kong if, uh, if people are searching for this keyword uh, we have a website and uh, we want our website to bring it to the top results so what are the activities that we have to do so those things we will be okay. learning in this chapter okay search engine optimization okay and uh, right now we are not going to see this we are going to see the google ads okay, okay right now we are going to see the google ads so uh as i had told you right you know uh, these are the search results organic search results that google considers okay. that these pages are highly relevant for the search term that people are searching for and uh, those okay. results has been listed here and apart from this 10 results uh, we can able to see one advertisement here the uh, wow. result which is uh, which you know are listed along with the symbol called ad ad okay. are the advertisements okay. Uh, that are running in Google by some of the okay. top advertisers, some of the top advertisers in the field. So right okay. now here, the namyata.com, it may be in uh, organic or might not be in organic search result, but they are separately okay. running a search advertisement. So that is what, you know, it, it has been shown here and it has been marked as ad. So all the, uh, you know, search results, whatever, uh, you know, whichever the advertisements, uh, whichever the ads that are running in the particular uh, search keywords, those will be marked as okay. under the name called ad. Right. So, okay. If in the flow, everyone like, or allow comfortable or I'm going a little bit too slow or how everyone okay, va? Um, for all the okay. Okay, all right. So you want me to go okay. speed or you want me to go to go a little bit deep and slow? Ah, uh, a little bit slow, na pa easy ah. Okay, so you want to go slow? I understand. Amma. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So right now, you know, um, uh, this is the this is the. Uh, segment where we, what we call it as the advertisement so google advertisement so in this you know it will be looking like similar results like how we are having for the search results in uh, organic uh, search results how the how we are getting the websites like for an example these are the data which has been taken from the website and has been shown here okay for an example let me to open this and exp uh, explain you the detail
Okay, so uh, right now we are in one of the website which has been listed in the top 10 results for the keyword yoga classes in Hong Kong. So in yeah. this particular website, uh, you know, we can able to see uh, one title called as 13 best yoga studios and classes in Hong Kong. And uh, we have okay. the title of the website which is mentioned as 13 best yoga studios and classes in Hong Kong. The same data okay. uh, has been taken from the website and it has been shown in the Google search result. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, yes, here. That's right. So 13 best mm. yoga studios and classes in Hong Kong, Asia Spa. Okay. So this data okay. has been taken from this particular website from the title. This okay. is what we call title. Uh, and uh, okay. this is what we called uh, heading tag or we call it as mm -hmm. heading title of the page on which we mention it as uh, heading tag or H1 tag. So this is what uh, this is different and this is different. But in this particular page, they had entered the same information in the heading tag as well as they had entered in the title tag as well. Google will pick up from okay. the title tag and it will be displayed in the Google search result for the organic okay. for the organic search results. OK. And okay. Uh, similarly, you know, uh, the data, what we call it here, uh, like, you know, Hong Kong may be a concrete jungle by finding wellness, etc. So these are the data has been taken from this website, from this location. Hong Kong may be a concrete jungle, but finding wellness and peace uh, has uh, been easier, etc. So these data has been taken. And then what we have is the URL. We call it as URL, the website name, which has been mentioned in the uh, in the URL uh, bar. Uh, we call it as uh, the website name or might be, you know, the URL. URL uh, in the sense it says uh, something like, you know, the location where the website has been located. Call it as URL. Okay. URL. So have you before heard about this word URL? Yeah, URL means uh, it's uh, uh, mentioning the website. Website link. That's great. That's great. Okay. So that is what, you know, uh, this URL has been taken from this website and has been shown here. So uh, I'm sorry, here. So asiaspa.com and slash, you know, uh, at the bottom left, you can able to see the hyperlink details that asiaspa.com slash 17967 slash 13 best yoga studios and classes in Hong Kong. So this is the data which has been taken from the website and has been shown here right but when we are going for google advertisement the data the title the description and this url this url so these three data are not taken from the website this has been customly uh, you know we had built in the platform called google ads okay so in this google ads we will be creating the title according to the keyword that people are searching for when people are searching for some other things like yoga schools in Hong Kong, uh, the title for that particular keyword, we can change the title to Hong Kong schools in, uh, I mean, yoga schools in Hong Kong and etc. Okay. And similarly, the description we can separately have for that particular keyword and URL we can separately have for that particular keyword. Like even if okay. that URL is not there, we can create, not a problem. So it is not required that we, we always require to reflect the same. But one thing is, one condition is, uh, we can't able to change the primary website name. Like here, www.namyata.com is the primary website name. Uh, instead of this, we can't able to write something like www.yatanam.com, something we can't able to write. Uh, we have to, you know, uh, write the only, uh, you know, the website name which we have. But apart from this, after the slash, uh, we can include any data here. So it does not require... Uh, to be there present in the website, but we can add any data here, like inamiata.com uh, okay. slash, and we can put it as fitness and working here, not a problem, or okay. anything that we can able to like write a, it here. Yoga course, yoga training, yes, uh, teacher training, something like slash, slash. some spe specificity, like specific uh, that's true, that's true. thing, right? So like keywords. Yes, specifically keywords, exactly. So those keywords, we can able to enter it in the URL, and it might not okay. require to be there in the website actually. So if I click uh, this advertisement, so I'm getting, uh, uh, you know, the home page here, they had used the same uh, website name, but we have the option, you know, we can include additional keywords after this slash so that we can able to use it uh, to get 
the top ranking for the keyword and get to uh, you know we we can get a better return on investment and we will learn about all those things and uh, you know uh, to have a better picture let me to go to the uh, search result that i had received from my plain search uh, apart from this incognito because i think i had seen a lot of advertisement in this particular search from my uh, usual browser okay so uh, when we have a search that yoga classes hong kong you know uh, right now here i can able to see three advertisements one two and three and okay. also at the top uh, you know bottom of the page after the 10 organic search results uh, we starts to see the advertisements here so one two okay. and three right okay 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 but actually you know in the top and the bottom we can have uh-huh. up to a maximum of four advertisements okay oh, okay so that means top four advertisements and the bottom four advertisements so this is the maximum okay. amount of advertisements that we can able to see for any searches that is happening around the globe and there is a maximum limit okay. till now google had uh, fixed for the advertisements okay. okay all right and next thing is uh, you can able to notice for some of the advertisements uh, we can able to see only a single line of description and uh, you know uh, there are uh, uh, no, no much of three or four line as a uh, as something that we can able to see for the organic search results and uh, you know uh, in these particular uh, searches let me to give some other example for you to have a better understanding so here you know i'm searching for yoga classes here uh, it is similar to that what we had seen we have only one description here and uh, in the second advertisement we can able to see three lines of uh, description right and apart from this we can also be able to see the phone number extension which has been provided to the advertisement okay right? so this phone number advertisement is called as a call out extension Okay. so we'll be uh, learning about what are the possible extensions that we can have with advertisement but right now i'm showing you an example that you know advertisement what are the types of advertisements and the variety of yeah. extensions that we have we yeah, have options okay yes, options different uh, keywords we use different keywords hmm. to see in the organic search okay. and uh, see the ads in a different format or uh, ads in the different keyword yes that is true if we change the keyword we will yeah. be seeing a different uh, advertisement we'll different different format and different different uh, yes there yeah, will be format of advertisements we will be seeing and this advertisements will be different for my system and this advertisement will be different for someone sitting in some other location uh. and uh, Uh, usually you know the advertisements and organic search results and whatever the results that are coming uh, those are mm. highly you know uh, geocentric so geocentric in the sense based on from which location that we are searching from so okay. if i am making the searches from uh, this district and if i am uh, making a search from some other district in india like hyderabad or something mumbai uh, the based on location the complete you know i can't say complete we can say around 60 percentage of the result will be changed mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so uh will be explain you uh, all those details why it has been changed and how what are yeah. the scenarios that it will be changed and how it will be reflecting based on the geo tagging geo location that we are running and uh, we will be exploring all those details and uh, right now in the google ads this is the another type of search advertisement you know uh, we have the title we have the url and we have the description and apart from this we have two more additional uh, you know data which is Uh, okay. associated with the same advertisement and uh, what are these two additional data so if we explore uh, you know this has a title and this has a description okay this has a title and this has a description so this is okay. what we call it as uh, site link extensions okay okay so uh, we have lot of extensions some of the examples are call out extension site link extension okay. and we have call extension and uh, you know we have local listing extension so these are few of the information the extensions that are available uh, which we can add along with advertisement that we are going to create for google search advertisement okay okay and uh, you know 
but it is not compulsory that whenever we had created this extension, it will be always showing these extensions along with the advertisement that we are running. It is going to be decided by Google. So whether these extensions has to be shown or whether these extensions are not to be shown. Uh, and usually Google will show the extensions based on the ad rank that we have. So ad rank will be a score which is mentioned from zero to five. And if we have a better ad ranking, and if we have a, if we had mentioned a proper budgeting for this particular advertisement, that advertisement will start to pop up, uh, pop up at the top results. And usually the top results will be provided with the additional extensions, uh, extensions and opportunities. So right now, usually uh, it, it starts from the, uh, you know, the top result and from there, you know, it will be uh, moving towards the end. And uh, that is how the opportunities will be provided for the uh, search advertisement and extension that we had created for the particular advertisement. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, hope you understood what I'm trying to say. You know, this is just an overview that what we are seeing it uh, till right now. And uh, one more yeah, thing is, uh, you know, this uh, particular link, what we had uh, what we had provided here for digital marketing classes is different okay. and a customized learning path the particular link when people click this uh, customized learning path they will be landed to a different page and uh, start free one month trial the people will start to land in a different page so we can provide okay. multiple urls using the same advertisement with the help of extensions okay, okay? all right fine that's great. So uh, we had got an overview about the uh, picturization that how the Google advertisements will be shown in the Google search engine results page. So top four will be the search engine result page and uh, bottom of the four, uh, you know, bottom of the bottom four results of the search engine result page can be the advertisement. The maximum can be the advertisement and the advertisement has multiple extensions associated with the uh, ads that we are going to create. And we had seen that, you know, the advertisements, the title, URL, and descriptions are customizable, right? Okay. So that means those uh, are not the data which has been taken from the website and has been shown for the end customer, but those are predefined that we uh, practically, we enter those data in a platform okay. and those data has been shown here. All right. So now, you know, we are going for the second page. Okay. So similarly, what we had seen in the first page, the second page also, we'll be having uh, top four as advertisements and uh, bottom four will be the advertisements. Okay. And uh, you know, it is about uh, maximum four will be advertisements and it's up to Google that how much it can able to list. So in between the advertisements, 10 organic results will be there. Each page will have 10 organic results. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, right now let us see the Google ads platform and uh, how we are creating the Google ads through the Google ad platform. And uh, one more in important information is that, you know, uh, Google advertisement, Google ads will not charge us for displaying the advertisement in the Google search result. That means uh, when I'm seeing all these three advertisements, these three advertisements, these three companies like Upgrad and uh, Yenam, I, Yamas and uh, Region E, SES, Region, yes, Region E, SES and etc. You know, uh, these websites um, do not require to pay anything for Google uh, for displaying the advertisement for the keyword that we had mentioned here, it's like online digital marketing course. But okay. uh, you know, uh, Google will charge us only when we make an action in the particular advertisement. Like for an example, among these three advertisement, if I click this particular advertisement, then Google will charge upgrade a value for each and every click that is going to happen in the results page. So like for an example, uh, when I click this particular link for 10 times, so uh, Google okay. will uh, fix a cost per click for uh, this particular advertisement. Suppose if the cost per click is 2 rupees, if I had clicked the 10 uh. times, so then, you know, Google will be charging 20 rupees for this upgrade.com. Okay. Okay. And uh, one more thing is uh, the cost per click that is, uh, you know, when I click this advertisement or when I click this advertisement, Google will decide... Uh. Uh, you know what is the cost per click so you know how the google decides the google decides wow. based on uh, bidding uh, uh, you know based on this uh, based on the you know uh, what to say the based on a category called bidding segment like for an example uh, for this top result uh, if i'm ready to pay okay. uh, i am saying google that google please uh, show me at the top position and i am ready to pay 10 rupees and uh, this person says that you know i am ready to pay 9 rupees 
and uh, wow. otherwise i would like to say you know this person is ready to pay 10 rupees and uh, wow. this person is ready to pay 10 rupees and this person is ready to pay 9 rupees and this person is ready okay. to pay 8 rupees okay okay so you can understand the highest bidding will be at the top and lowest will lowest bidding will be coming at the bottom of the page but it's not okay. completely about the bidding because i had mentioned you that first advertisement uh, you know they are ready to pay 10 rupees second advertisement wow. they are ready to pay 10 rupees but still you know why this particular london.edu has been shown at the top the reason is you know it is not completely about bidding it is also about the ad rank so it's also about the ad quality the ad quality uh, the advertisement that we are creating if it has a higher quality then that particular advertisement will be shown at the top even the bidding is same okay hope you understood right so for an example here we can able to see online digital marketing course is the keyword that people are searching for and when people are searching okay. for this keyword you know in the google the first result we can able to see the same keyword digital marketing here okay uh -huh. and we can also see that digital and marketing is present in the ur okay and uh, similarly uh -huh. we can also able to see the digital marketing is there in the description and the marketing is there in the description so multiple times they had uh, the same keyword has been repeated and one more thing is this online digital marketing course if we take this four words among these four words uh -huh. the primary words are digital marketing because online describes about the digital marketing and the course is a possible you know chapter of this digital marketing so the primary keyword among these four words is digital marketing right like when we are speaking about yoga classes in hong kong what's the primary keyword the primary keyword is yoga classes right and about among this yoga and classes the primary word is yoga because classes describes the uh, you know uh, classes describes about the yoga so without yoga it is meaningless classes in hong kong so it is meaningless but at least yoga in hong kong have some meaning in it so yoga is the primary keyword and classes is the secondary keyword and in hong kong is the thirdary keyword the tertiary keyword like that. okay so since we have the primary keywords to be there multiple times described in the description and the same thing has been you know provided in the title this particular advertisement has been provide the higher opportunity okay and uh, one more thing is you know uh, i had told you as an uh, example and uh, you know we will also check how close the words are words has been mentioned in the particular advertisement like here you can able to see online and ifn digital marketing certificate so online digital marketing so which is almost in the same flow online digital marketing right okay so it has okay. the same flow yeah. so it had given the higher weightage and uh, for mm. your information the title is uh, first priority uh, first priority that google will uh, uh, give the importance to and the second importance will be given to the url and the third importance will be given to the description description okay. yes so the same is for the organic chapter as well but let, let, let us speak about the advertisements so for the advertisement you know the top is the top priority is for the title of this particular advertisement second is the url and the third is the description so that means what uh, google will check whether these keywords are available in the title and then it will be checking whether the uh, details are available in uh, url then it will check the okay. whether the details are available in the description as well okay, okay. suppose okay. if this keyword is available in the title then it will get a higher okay. weightage but suppose yeah. if this keyword is available in the description then it will be yeah. getting a weightage but not as high weightage as the title so that's what i'm saying the importance okay okay, okay the weightage the weightage will be high if the description okay. if the details are there in the title okay so right so now, we have to we have to be careful while you are uh, making the content of the website uh yes i would like to say you know uh, we have to be 100% or highly careful while we are going to create the advertisement because it is going to provide us uh, almost you know 200 percentage of the return on investment while we are creating an advertisement yeah okay you know uh, for the same pricing if we are listed in the top position we will be getting a lot of clicks uh -huh. and lot of valid clicks right mm -hmm. so yeah, this yeah. usually people have the tendency to uh you know click the first advertisement so that is why you know they are uh, showing multiple extensions along with the first advertisement so the top bidding advertisement will be given the higher priority and the people will be showing the higher importance and uh, so so that you know we should be careful on uh, what keyword that we are going to deploy in the title description and url and you know everything is highly important so here you know we can able to check it out and uh, linkedin.com learning online marketing that's great so you know uh, digital as i had already told you online digital marketing is somewhat somewhat a closer version for the people that care, people are care, searching for and uh, along with this you know uh, it is available the digital marketing is available in the url the third third thing is it is available in the uh, you know uh, description as well but in the description it is missing the term called a course it is missing the term called online these two uh, chapters are missing in this particular description right and uh, 
when we are having the second advertisement the digital marketing is there and the classes is somewhat you know relevant keyword for the courses but still it is not exact but still it is not exact so we can say that if course is mentioned we are providing 100 percentage of weightage but courses but classes is the classes has been deployed so we are providing 50 percentage of the weightage because it is not exact it's relevant right so similarly you know in the url it has been mentioned as learning online marketing but you know digital marketing is uh, online marketing is somewhat uh, relevant to the not somewhat it is somewhat highly close to relevant to the digital marketing but it is not exact so this has been provided higher weightage this url has been provided higher weightage and this uh, url has been provided not exactly higher weightage like the one which has been shown shown at the top portion okay, okay. so what is uh, we have to first see the keywords how the people search yes and then exactly. according to that we have to make the title and okay. then uh, relevant uh, description is it is it li- like that exactly exactly truly that's what uh, you know i'm trying to convey we have to write the advertisement for the keyword that people are searching for and uh, okay. one more thing is we have to learn and we have to see mm-hmm. how many people are searching for this keyword like for an example oh, okay. you know uh, there are a lot of suggestions are there but uh, how do we know that you know this particular keyword is good or uh, this particular keyword is good how do we know that actually uh, you know? uh, that yeah, we can, yeah. that we have to check and we have the option to check that a uh, particular keyword and we can able to check how many people are searching for this keyword every month from a uh, particular location suppose might be for an example it might be like it might be from india or it might be from uk us or china wherever it is or even a sub okay. sub area of the india like for an example bangalore or might be mumbai okay. we can closely able okay. to see how many people are searching for this keyword every month exactly so okay. that that we can able to extract from the google keyword planner and once we take okay. the data then we will make a comparison that which keyword is better for us and where the cost per click is less and based on that oh. we will be running our advertisement based on the budget that we have if we have a higher budget we will be going for the higher uh, number of people the higher number of keywords that people are searching for and uh, you know yeah. we will be showing at the top with by spending lot of a lot of value at the top position and if we have a lesser okay. budget then we will be showing the same advertisement for the keywords which is having a lower cpc and oh. uh, which is having a lower search search volume and uh, we'll be running the advertisements there okay? okay so here we can able to see the digital marketing online uh, courses online india so it's a kind of, kind of weird uh, people that people will be searching for this keyword uh, but uh, you know, uh, people when they are searching for digital marketing courses uh, you know this is also weird okay anyway let, let me to come for a example online digital marketing courses might be a you know usual keyword that many of the people will be searching for and few of the people will be searching for the digital marketing online courses fee and etc okay so right now i'm going to change the keyword right now i'm going to change the keyword to instead of this digital marketing i'm going to change the keyword to online online marketing course okay so right now we have something here we have the online course and the marketing advertisement has been listed here and then we have some other results and then we have the digital marketing course here and then we have something else so uh, you know uh, this is how uh, the changes will happen once we change the keyword once we change the keyword all the advertisements will be changed so all these advertisements okay. has been uh, asked to google that i want to list it for the keyword online marketing course but for this particular uh, keyword they have a different title they have a creator and advertisement for a different keyword or something and based on the optimization factor and also based on bidding factor the advertisement will be shown at the first portion then at the second portion then at the third portion okay 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 all right so right now let us jump into the google ads platform and uh, let okay. us see the basics about how the platform will be looking like and uh, from there let us wind up for today's class and then we will go okay. for uh, you know uh, we will go for the tomorrow's class and we will explore all the rest of the details by tomorrow okay okay so i had searched for the keyword google ads and i had got a result uh, you know which is called ads.google.com and uh, because i had given it as hong kong i think the default version of hong kong has been opening for me anyway it's uh, it's not a problem so ads.google.com so this is the website through which you know uh, we will be using for creating the advertisement let me to show you the link as well
okay so here you know i'm going to use the sign in option because i already created an account and if we are going to create a new account we will be using this get started option and then we will be creating a new account okay and uh, similarly using the same gmail uh, username and password we can log into the google ads account as well right now you know these are the ad accounts that i have so one account that i already created uh, you know that account i am going to explore and i'm going to show it to you okay all right so uh this is the google ads platform okay so okay uh for showing the data i'm going to you know go for the all time results okay Done. so uh this is a demo account uh specifically for studying purpose you know uh, in this particular account when i had logged in the details what i'm able to see are you know the total amount of clicks that i have received for the receive through the advertisement and how many impressions that this particular advertisement has been shown to so as i had already told you if i had clicked the if i had search make made a search and if my website has been listed it is called as single impression right so but uh, all the impressions uh, i will not be clicking but uh, for few of the impressions i'll be making the click and that click data is available here there is a total number of clicks that had happened in the advertisement there is a second information that i'm getting and similarly i'm getting the data about what is the average cost per click okay so uh, that data we can able to uh, check it out uh, with the help of what is the total amount that i had spent and from which you know how many clicks that i have received so in that case so what is the cost per click for me so that's what you know the calculation is all about and those data has been listed here in the graph format and then you know we have something more here so what are the campaign details that we have created those data are here and what are the search results for which the advertisement has been running and through uh, which search keywords that uh, you know the clicks have happened and what is the click through rate and cost that has been spent for the particular keyword and those data were available here and similarly the version the most shown search advertisement how Uh, which is the version that the advertisement has been shown to the audience and how it has been displayed so those data those details were available here and similarly we have the total amount of searches uh, you know for what uh, the advertisement has been shown those keywords has been listed here in the name of uh, searches okay all right now then what do we have is you know missed a shop which it might not be so critical and important for us we have some more data from devices like how many searches happened from mobile how many from tablets and how many from computers and nowadays you know i hope you might uh, know know this data most of the people are browsing from the mobile so always the browse mobile data mobile searches and mobile clicks will be much higher so we can always uh, keep the consideration that while we are creating something we have to consider that this advertisement is going to be shown in the mobile uh, device as well so we have to create accordingly okay all right so these data has been shown here and then uh, what do we have here is you know the demographics like you know what is the gender and what is the age factor and how which age that we had got the highest impressions so yeah. those data were available and then networks you know this is google search network search partner and display network okay so the display network in the sense suppose for an example apart from google search there are a lot of websites where you know they will be having a tie up with the google uh, adsense account so through which you know they can able to run the advertisements of google in their own website okay so those websites are called as you know display network of google so that means uh, when we are running advertisement in the display network those advertisements will be running in the partner sites of the google where the google adsense has been enabled so that you know that might be some other website somewhere in the, somewhere in that location but uh, you know when people comes to the website the advertisement will be running from where you know we will be getting the uh clicks back to the uh website that uh, you know we are running okay that, that's what we call this uh display network and the search partners is something like you know in the some of the search results in the side panel we will be showing some advertisements and those things will be considered as search partners and uh, you know the, the highest importance is for the google search and second importance for the google uh, display network and uh, you know these are some more additional data that we have we can able to explore all those things by clicking this Uh, additional uh, data by all demographics all schedule and etc and uh, you know this is just an overview about this platform 
about uh, what is the setup and what is the data that we can able to collect as a final stage while uh, once the campaign is running okay all right uh, i think uh, today it is uh, fine uh, and good enough yeah. for you i think uh, loganathan yes uh, yes irike vandu ungalukku kondirukku nenikire i don't know um, um, <laughs> might be uh, it is due to the late night and your habit of uh, early sleeping and mari habit irukku yeah inike apdi romba kashtapadu da mulichittu irundha 12 mani varaikum okay i understand indha oru maasam po indha oru maasam poruthukenga adukapram you will be happy Yeah, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, great. So, if you have any quick questions, ah, नाले की time, नाले की उनका time पन्ना मणि अनोडे time उम्बर मणि की meet पन्ना and ये दाव द questions से रंदे चाहिए अभी ना you can have a noted down or the, if you have any questions, quick okay. questions right now you can ask me now. इधर ना हम नाले बात हो. इधर नाले बात हो. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. Have a good night. Uh, good night. Okay. Have a sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Thank you. See you too. See you bye. Thank you. Bro.